Digital progress has made its way into the heart of society. We consume digital media, only the physical act of shopping is still offline. We pay cash, we have to stand in line. That's the reason why we think it's essential to tackle digitization today. As far as Jens Janneke is concerned, Deutsche Telekom is preaching to the already converted. The merchant runs a supermarket in Adendorf, Lower Saxony, Germany. Currently, he is thinking about the next steps towards digitizing the retail sector. What happens in the course of digitizing retail businesses? Is Amazon perhaps more of a blessing than a curse for the global competition? Or simply, why am I still using a fax machine even though there are other communication tools I can work with? Possibilities, challenges, risks, side effects. If you're digitizing, you need a solid plan. Therefore, we first of all took a look at the status quo, together with the T-Systems experts. We tried to determine the state of current communication. Then we wanted to find out what status we could live with and where action is required. The first step towards digitizing our store was a simple one. To furnish it with Wi-Fi and to equip our employees with smartphones to connect everything and everyone. Now, if a customer asks a question about a product, employees can rely on their smartphones to find the answer. They can even recommend complementary products. Twelve months ago, my colleagues would just go out with printed leaflets. The content on these was limited. Maybe it could be supplemented by their individual knowledge. We are about to change this. The foundation for this is our changeover to old IP, a transmission standard that transfers speech and data over one network. The benefits for merchants who are changing over to all IP lies in having a future-proof and fast technology and in having a good foundation to successfully deploy digital solutions. One of stationary trade's problems is that operators don't know enough about their customers. Only those who know the customer very well can create more profit with tailor-made offerings. Sometimes we don't know exactly where to put goods so that customers notice them. To do better in this regard, we have to know where our customers are going and how long they are staying there. Now we equip every shopping cart with a uniquely identifiable so-called beacon. Those are small Bluetooth transmitters. That are helping us, via triangulation. To understand where shopping carts and baskets are located within the store, this helps the merchant to identify blind spots with no customer traffic. And how will digitization develop? The possibilities are virtually endless. One of the coolest new inventions is a really small food scanner, a very new design. What's fascinating about it is that it's only as big as your car keys, but it enables you to check what is inside the food. For example, a tomato. It checks whether it is ripe or not. Of course, there are risks on the way towards digitization, but that is generally so in business. In hindsight, I can only say that tests and trials help. My bottom line is, I'm really happy with what we did.